Tired of the rain? Worried about the recession? I'm gonna teach you how to stay busy in contracting in any economy. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you have to always remember to go back to the basics. What did you do on the come up when you were going into your best year or your best week? Maybe you've only been around for a few weeks. During the best time in your business, what did you do to stay busy? For many of us, we're not starting with a silver spoon. There is no venture capitalist in contracting. There's no big push of money. So many of us, we don't have a marketing budget. We don't have a Google ads budget. So what do you do? You go back to the basics, yard signs, flyers, door knocking. I am telling you that stuff is the lowest hanging fruit in our entire industry. It is so important and vital. If you look at your total revenue for the year as a piece of pie, right? and paid ads makes up this much, GCs make up this much, referrals make up this much. There is so many pieces of that pie that you can fill up. And you have to remember that I know those are frustrating uh, tactics. I totally understand that. If you knock on doors, there's gonna be a lot of rejection, but you gotta stay strong. You're just looking for the 2%, right? If you knock on 100 doors, you're hoping two quotes go out the door. Same with mailers, same with yard signs, same with flyers, right? But together, they start to make a big difference in your business. I promise you, if you are sitting there without work, go start knocking 500 doors a day. What else are you gonna do? I see so many contractors, they're willing to just sit at home, not work, or they're always looking for an easy avenue like the third party lead guys, like Angie's and all that, but it's just not worth it, right? You don't need to be spending money on that. You need to religiously be doing this stuff. I promise you it'll make all the difference. The fundamentals are how any good company, and some call it, you'll hear guerrilla marketing, you'll hear organic marketing, um, you'll hear grassroots marketing, but all of those basic things where you're out, your outflow, you're pushing out into the community, that is going to be crucial in staying busy during a slow economy because remember, any business's number one problem is always going to be obscurity. If nobody knows you, they can't do business with you because even in the worst economy, there's always somebody that needs their garage fixed, their wall painted, you name it, right? It's just about reaching those people and keep in mind a lot of the paid channels that a lot of people rely on, Facebook, Google, those costs are gonna go way up. I mean, when there's less people in the market, it's just that simple. Supply and demand, the cost goes way up. So those might not even buy, be viable. So now, and you should be, this is stuff you can do in any economy, but now more than ever, your grassroots, your gorilla, your basic low hanging fruit of flyers, door knocking, yard signs, uh, uh, referrals, you name it, just reaching out to your network, your past customers, all of the fundamentals, you have to go back to the basics, pretend you're starting from scratch and you need to sell a job today. That stuff is gonna be more important now than ever. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna focus on the execution and the follow through. So many of us, if you're past the stage of say just two guys and you've actually built up a little business, one of the challenges you're gonna face, and, th and this still does apply to you when you're you know, two, three guys, but it's the follow through, right? So we know, okay, we take what I said before, we're gonna do door knocking, we're gonna do flyers, uh, we're gonna make sure every job is a yard sign and all that kind of stuff, but it's about the follow through. Because remember, I said, you're gonna face a lot of rejection. So you need to add numbers to it to go wide enough for it to make a difference. So if you knock on 10 doors, you know, you might get nine that reject you, okay? But that's only one quote. And honestly, that quote's kind of wishy-washy because you just knocked on their door and interrupted them. What you really need to do is scale that number out to 100 doors, 500 doors. And then more importantly, add some days to that mix. And now all of a sudden in five days at 200 doors a day, you just knocked on 1,000 doors, okay? If 2% of them, 2% decide, hey, we need a quote, well, now we're in now we're in business here. You know, now we got 20 quotes going on. So 
add some scale to it, but most importantly, it's the follow through. And another word for this should be the discipline. So if you're a bigger organization, you wanna focus on, okay, who is going to execute this, right? And then who's going to make sure that they executed this? That's gonna be your execution and your follow through. And if you're a smaller organization, then you need to do it. And that comes straight down to just discipline saying, hey guys, I'm gonna get this job to a point where everything is okay. And I'm gonna go spend two hours knocking on the doors or two hours putting flyers around the neighborhood. It is more important now than ever, but I promise you, you wanna do this in any economy. Take it from me, don't learn the hard way. I wish I had done this from the beginning religiously. I did it in the beginning, helped boost up my brand. Then I became a bigger company. Things kind of slowed down. Now I'm doing it again, but I should have stayed with it. I promise you, don't make the mistake I did. Stick with it, follow through, and execute. Lastly, you want to focus on adding value, right? It's not going to be this big discount or something like that that's going to jumpstart your business because at the end of the day, if you're slow, it's more important now that you hit your margin than ever. There is no room for discount. I don't like discounts in general, just on a side note, because I don't believe in devaluing my service. More importantly, I don't believe in charging more money than I have to. So if I have a discount, it's like, well, which is it, right? Either I'm worth, worth less than I say I am, or I'm charging too much money. So I don't like that, but at the end of the day, you need to add the most value now. It's always important to add value, but now more than ever, you wanna get that buzz, that hype, where you've delivered just such a great experience where you've went above and beyond that you're gonna pick up more referral business. They're gonna tell their neighbors, their sister, and the way you do that is to add value. So maybe a lot of you guys, if you're in my industry, you're pressure washing the house, go ahead and hit the driveway for them. It's not gonna take that much longer, and it's just a nice way to add extra value for them. Maybe they're painting the outside of the house, you're gonna throw in the deck because you're already there, and maybe you just do it at the cost of the material. This is what I mean. Give them more value. Uh, it could be a, a number of ways. I mean, in you know, figure out how it applies to your business, but 100% the focus needs to be on the most value. I believe in the business cycle, the most value wins all day anyway, but when you're going into a recession, you're going into a hard time, remember my pie example, you need every piece of that pie to make it complete. And it's the exact same if you think about it like an engine, it has to be firing on all cylinders. At this point, there's no dead weight. Everybody needs to be all hands on deck, can do, delivering a great experience to the customer, helping out in the neighborhood, bringing up their trash cans, add value. I promise you, you will get so much further ahead. Stay tuned for more tips and videos on how to be successful in life and how to blow up and scale your contracting business. Please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share our channel with somebody that can use the help.